so in the previous session we have used the backup module uh, to copy the files from oracle e-business database and the application from the your on premises uh, to object storage so now we are ready we have ran the e-business cloud manager tool uh, you know for for the reason is uh, we need to do the clone so we have seen that the backups are visible so now why not we proceed with this so why not i give ebs e-business uh, okay let me just verify my documentation so you can give like whatever 12 12 to 10 environment what is the name is, is given compute okay so because we are going to auto compute I don't have this particular screenshot so why not I I just capture this so this is the first screen and uh, why not I give the marker copy this and uh, replace the old one it's not that good there is some break here so yeah this is good so the first thing what you do is so uh, you know uh, the first thing what you do oh we have it so this one is a duplicate right so the first thing what you do is um, you you sign in you go to advance you know you go to advance and uh, you give the e-business 12 dot instance click this provision from compute storage you select the comp uh, the backup compartment right you give the encryption password so while taking the backup you give in a password so the same password you need to give here so come down here and give the password it will validate it will validate right and then give the uh, the new web logic if you want to change the password you can give the uh, change the password but I am giving the same password which is welcome one so these are the details what you provide in the first screen and now uh, what you do you see next it will validate see password validation is in progress So now you provide. Oh, okay, so there is some problem with my password. So let's try now. Oh, this is the app's password. Sorry, I was just trying to give the same password. The invalid password must be see that's not I given this oh maybe caps welcome one okay, now let us see yeah I think now it's valid so I was giving all th everything in the capsule letters right I think looks good yeah there you go so now you provide the database details database can be in a in a compute instance virtual machine or a inf extra data infrastructure so here in this case what I do I give the database name whatever you want like works so let me just uh, do what is whatever is mentioned here okay dev DB suppose for example you want to clone it to dev DB the logical host name I'll just copy EBS migrate Uh, here we give the domain apps dba dot uh, info uh, the pdb name is dev pdb whatever you want to give so select the shape what you want uh, so give the password it will complex password it will not accept the you know the normal passwords so let us give the little complex passwords so give that password give the password if you want to enable td you can do the enable the td and if you want to increase the number of RMAN sessions you can increase for the faster backup so virtual machines I'm not selecting virtual machine or XR era I'm moving my database to database type to compute if you want to move to the DBCS you can use this so now you provide the application details right application details so here I'm not selecting the load balancer I only have one load balancer which already used it maybe in the real time you may have to do that so now it will ask you for the application details first compute is completed now okay here also will provide the same information specify this is apps db.info 
right if you want to go for shared you can go if you have multiple application tires a uh, logical host name it is asking me which is dis little different yes perfect perfect so so this is but recommended by oracle so i'm just giving and you say add node first take or uh, just uh, validate everything and just uh, accept it add node once this is completed you save the zone right and then you say next then you provide the yeah no need to enter anything in the extensible options go next add the ssh keys say next and you just verify all the details you verify all the details verify all the details and you submit it you know so once you know once everything looks good what you do you just have to submit it so this will become like a request for you it will it will go for a request and lot of validation happens right and then it will do the uh, clone right so right this is what uh, what i wanted to show you how the lift and shift can happen so once the installation is completed you log in to the application that uh, the application will be started right then um, <coughs> you have to see that the 8000 port is been open in ingress rule and also from the back end you need to uh, release the firewall cmd using the firewall cmd you should release the 8000 port right so this is what is how the lift and shift happens if you just to try to review we did a lot of things lot a lot a lot of things so i <coughs> initially we installed the cloud manager then the source database is nothing but from the marketplace we installed 12.2.10 then we took the backup module like then we took the backup module and copied to the source database and ran this it has asked it has asked us so many details right then once it is completed it copy to the object storage and from the object storage you are just going to do the clone so hope you like this session thanks for watching